WA's first ever space satellite has launched on board a NASA rocket headed for the International Space Station. The tiny but powerful Perth-built device will embark on an 18-month-long mission to capture WA like we've never seen before. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. WA's first ever satellite launches into space on board the Cargo Dragon headed for the International Space Station. <laughs> Exploding into the sky from Florida in the United States at 3.20am local time, the tiny WA-built satellite inside the Binar one embarks on its long-awaited galaxy mission. Cargo Dragon is on course to dock to the International Space Station at about 11am Eastern time tomorrow. Here in Perth, space fans ventured to Yagan Square for the second day in a row to watch the momentous event after bad weather delayed yesterday's launch. From our regional ranches to pristine coastlines, two cameras are being sent into space to capture never-before-seen angles of the state. It's tiny. It's like this big. Binar 1 is the first of seven satellites launched for the mission. It'll remain in orbit for the next 18 months, feeding back vital on-the-ground data from up above. Is this area of the state drying out? Might that be susceptible to bushfires? Um, can we have bushfire monitoring? Are these crops ready to harvest? It will deliver outstanding data to Western Australia Australia, which will inform our farmers, our miners, our geospatial engineers. The brains behind the technology, a team of Curtin University students who've worked hard for the last four years for this moment. 30 undergrads on the team and they've all shared in, uh, in putting this thing together. Today's space launch is just the start for the state's exploration capabilities. The team is already working with NASA with plans to have a WA spacecraft reach the moon by 2025. Onwards and upwards from here, I guess. Sarisha Bradley, Nine News.